I wonder how low we can go because we need it to flicker pretty fast when it first turns on. Can we do 50 and 50? That's where it might get a little strobey. <laughs> Super strobe! It's wigging me out. Is it wigging anybody else out? What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be working with an Arduino to make this sign. So this is just an LED panel. There's a row of LEDs down here that shoot that way into some plastics and other things to sort of absorb and re reflect the light this way. So. Just to kind of show you. It's like the same sort of thing that's in our LCD monitors and TVs. Um, the, the backlight basically without the all the pixels for the screens. So there's that. So what I want to do with this is I want to I'm gonna try to use a relay controlled circuit or you know Arduino switches the relay because this needs nine volts to light. So I need, to, and the Arduino will put out five volts. So what I'm gonna do is have a, a low voltage circuit controlling a high voltage circuit with a relay. Okay, so here's what I got going on. I have pin 12 coming out and going to the relay, hot, the hot side of the relay on the five volt side, which is being grounded down. So when the Arduino turns pin 12 on to high or 5 volts, then it turns the relay on or the relay switches. So a relay is a is a, an electrical switch. So when it has power here, it switches and puts puts these two poles together. So, you know, so that these two are now connecting. And then that goes to ground. And then I have, I'm going to make this sign buzz, so we're coming off of pin 8, going to a little piezoelectric speaker, or whatever they are, unit, and then that's grounding down, so that's where those are wired up, we have a ground going to ground, and I don't need to come off the 5 volts on the Arduino here, and I, then I'm using another basically just a wall socket that I got from Radio Shack as my nine volts. So this is how it works. So the the hot side well the hot side of the light or the positive goes to the goes to the relay. So, and then your negative will go, I mean, you could do this either way, really, but your power supply, so your power supply gets interrupted by this relay, and once, once the power goes to this side of the relay, it'll switch that on, and it's basically connecting all of this here. So these three, well, it's connecting two of them through here. So let's power it up and see if we can get it to work. So you hear the relay switching, that's a program I wrote. I already shot this intro, but it didn't turn out very well, so I'm reshooting it. So, this needed to be hooked up the other way. So the shit lighting. So what my program does, is if I reset it, then it does some buzzes and flashes the light. I haven't got it quite n nailed down yet, but I think you get the idea. I need to mess with the timing a little bit to get it just to light perfectly. All right, so and it looks okay, I guess. It's not the worst thing I've ever done. So I don't know, maybe. But that's basically what we're going for here. So with that in mind, let's build a circuit to control this thing with the Arduino. So we can get some different effects out of it.
What's up, y'all? Uh, I'm going back to working on the light project here. I've got uh, I've got these little guys. I'm gonna show you. These are relays. This is so. This is how a relay works, and what you're doing is you're uh, when you put energize this coil, it's gonna magnetize and suck this in, and then create. If you can see down in there, down in there, when we put energy to that, sucks that coil down and switches between these two posts. So normally open like that, that would be normally open there. Uh, and normally closed, or closed, open, closed, open. Right, so what we have now is our blink, and it's just saying pin 13 is an output, and it does your void setup and everything. Did it alright? This is the loop, so it's just gonna write pin 13 high or send it 5 volts, and then low, send it 0 volts for a thousand milliseconds and then low for a thousand milliseconds so what we could do is come in here and change this so this is just like a simple code that comes with Arduino and all that it's really doing is just telling the pin 13 is an output Uh, did you write it high and low? So if we change these milliseconds, we can actually change it to like 500, and we can do half the time. We could even do 500 on, which would be the high, and 100 low, which would be or the off, which would be the low. <coughs> Right, so let's plug our Arduino back in and send that code to it. So it can flick, flicker pretty quick. See, that thing's just trucking. I wonder how low we can go because we need it to flicker pretty fast when it first turns on. Can we do 50 and 50? That's where it might get a little strobey. <laughs> Super strobe! That's wigging me out. Is that wigging anybody else out? We can go faster than that. I wonder if there is any limit or like. Like basically, how fast can the relay trigger and before I break it? Oh, it's flying along there now. Yeah, I don't know how much, how much I want to just keep that up. Blow this thing up. But just for the shit of it, let's try 12. 12 milliseconds. I just keep halving it to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's chooching good now. Uh, Alright. So, what we want is probably a couple of short flashes. And we don't want it to loop. So, we just want it to be in void setup then up here I think so up in this area here so we have the void set up and this just basically does whatever it does at first and then the void loop if we wanted it to loop so we can probably go in here and I mean we could delete it but I'm just gonna comment it out and it, so far I have learned 
But if you just put two little um, slashes before whatever code, oops, not that way, then it'll, it, so it, it used to see these as commands and now it won't because the slashes are in there. So we want to hit enter digital, digital right, and then 13 comma high enter. I wonder why it's not giving us the, it's not set up, All right? Maybe this needs to be capitalized. There we go. So enter. And oh, high needs to be capitalized. Just learning here. This will be my first program that I've actually wrote. I messed around with changing, changing things like the delays and stuff, like we were just doing, but nothing else. So we want a delay for let's say like 50. So, yeah, 50. So I'm just copying the code from below. Right. It'll do the 50 millisecond here, then 75, and then just turn it on. Theoretically. Plug that in. And then uh, send it. Alright. We got some dealios. Oh, I forgot to put in uh, the colons, I think, on these. Try it again. Before delay. What does this mean? Expected dilly before delay. Oh, I didn't put them on the end of these either need a lot of these colon things everywhere maybe here and one there just for the shit of it right, let's try that. okay that worked <coughs> since it uses pin 13 for the LED I'm gonna go ahead and change it to pin 12 so we don't get the initial the Arduino booting up lighting up change all these to pin 12 and then I'm going to go ahead and move out pin to pin 12 so now then you look so bzz, 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 bzz. I think we need another one in the middle for longer. So, uh, right, so I've got basically the hot side coming to the positive on the old guy, negative side going to negative um, Arduino port, little pin there. And then our light is, LED, is now an LED, just to make this a little bit easier. So I don't have to be messing with that chintzy power supply and whatnot. So, anyways, let's just see if we can get some buzzing code going on. And so we're going to be using looks like pin eight for that. All right. So here's what I needed to do: pin mode eight, um, tone, which is pin eight, hundred hertz, five thousand milliseconds. So. This is what that sketch looks like when I upload it. So we need to reprogram to where it'll buzz with the light. Right now it's doing all the lighting stuff that we wanted to do and then the buzz. So I think we're gonna have to interlace the buzzing and the lighting, play with the timing of it and I wonder if we can even delay one or the other so that 
I mean, depending on how fast it reads the code, I guess. So, I'll do that and then come back. So, I'm getting closer. I have the tone going first and then the LED. So that looked pretty good to me. So now I just need to tweak it slightly to, you know, mess with the milliseconds till I can get it looking like it's actually malfunctioning in some way. Um, I think that's gonna, well, yeah, I don't know. I might continue on this project in another video, but that's gonna do it for this video. Just showing a little bit of you know, programming, and we're learning a little bit here with the Arduino. So what my program does is if I reset it, then it does some buzzes and flashes the light. I haven't got it quite n nailed down yet, but I think you get the idea. I need to mess with the timing a little bit to get it just to light perfectly. So, yeah, until next time.